<laughs> hey guys, welcome to the channel, Taking the Bath in the Bathroom with Donald Police, where you can place your gadgets in peace. On this channel, we do product reviews and also some tutorials. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and check out my ebook. Bang, you can find it on Amazon. This search for the man who set himself on fire by Donald Bogan. That's B O G E N. All right, remember when I told you guys this? As I say, when the income tax come out, people gonna have disposable income. And before they go buy cars and flat screens, TVs, uh, make sure that you are selling your product. You're putting your product before them. So Netflix stocks is going up. Of course, Amazon is going up because what happened is, is that people are fearful. They don't want to go out. And so they they rather just do what the phrase what the phrase is Netflix and chill. So. If Netflix stocks could be going up, if Netflix could be taking advantage of what's going on, why can't we, huh, guys? I mean, that's my question. Why can't we take advantage of what's what's going on? Every year, I try to reflect on what happened back in the past year and where I'm going the year ahead. In the year ahead, excuse me. Now, when I told you guys about the corona, that's... If was just me just paying attention to the news, having foresight, and I always tell you guys catch the next wave. When I seen that, when I seen that the Netflix um article, I already knew there was opportunity. So a start the year off looking for opportunity, and I told you guys I wanted to get more financially solvent, and this is how I was able to take my YouTube skills, using my channel, leveraging what I learned on the channel, um. The same things that I've been preaching to you guys, just imp implement it, and this was the results of it. Let's jump into it. All right, so let's go ahead and open up my YouTube analytics, and you can see this channel have 26,500 subscribers. In the last 28 days, I got 350 plus subscribers. You can see my views are up, all right? But you are here for the revenue. Let's go to the analytics. Now, Estimated amount this month is five hundred dollars, but we want to go to the last three hundred and sixty-five days. So for the total year, I gained six thousand subscribers, and I have six thousand three hundred sixty-three dollars and nineteen cent in ad revenue. So when I tell you guys, YouTubers do not make a lot of money most of our small youtubers in this community do not make a lot of money now believe it or not this is sort of an off year for me i had less subscribers and i have done better than this but my focus wasn't really on creating that type of content and most of my content where well, i had like ten thousand plus thirteen thousand or whatever i forget what i had i can easily look it up was um doing a lot of streaming videos and what began to happen was i was getting community guidelines strikes not copyright strikes not companies or individuals saying hey this is our stuff i was getting community guidelines strikes where people was actually reporting my videos and i had to dispute it or whatever and it was a whole process as you can see my channel is still here you get three strikes you're out your channel get deleted so that means that i was very successful and disputing those accusations however kind of deterred me but if you look at this channel it's a lot of work i got well over 200 videos to say that i have 26,000 subscribers and having 200 plus videos that's a lot of work that's a lot of editing but this is one source of income what i do is i use youtube as a vehicle to build trust with the audience and then give the audience basically a product not only i can profit off of but they can profit off of it come okay, right here to cash app a lot of people don't know you go to cash app you can log in cash app from your desktop you go to statements and it basically tell you what you made in the months whatever month you choose but you can also export it and it's going to look like this and it's going to export everything you took in everything that went out and the fees going to go ahead and look at this in detail we'll go right here to paypal so we got the cash out with the internet we got the the channel right the google adsense and the paypal where i'm working with the different storefronts on amazon and also 
those whenever you see a promotion in my video they mostly pay me through paypal so you can see right here in paypal ninety five thousand four hundred and thirty three point four that that's what i'm credited with you can see uh at the beginning the ba balance is 25 cents now the reason why i stopped keeping large amounts of money in my paypal was it's a financial thing the bank wants you to deposit well banks want want to see you deposit money from your paypal into your account whether it's your personal account or business account they want to make sure that if you're getting money that you're making a consistent deposit come down here and you can see purchase activities 88,970 so what that means is that I'm using capital right I'm using capital to buy products I'm reselling the products and after all of my overhead and after I invest into the channel after I've been to pay for the the credits for the internet after I've been abroad, the merchandise and did reviews and stuff like that, everything comes down to profit twelve thousand six hundred and seventy two. Now, the great thing about this, you're saying, well, man, that's a lot of money right here, but you only made twelve thousand, which you have to realize you're looking at different lines of income. So I needed capital, eighty eight thousand dollars worth of capital. So I can make twelve thousand profit. Here, one of my online products. This is where I make my most money. And you can see last year with this online product, and I got different things blurred out because, of course, I don't want my information to be uh, revealed. I made thirty-three thousand dollars, three hundred and fifty-six dollars. All right, thirty-three thousand. I meant to say five hundred and sixty-one dollars. 33,000 people, $561 with this online product. I mean, this is not me doing anything magical. You can do this too. That's why I told you be COVID proof. I told you you got to be willing to catch the next wave. You got to be willing to invest into yourself. So I told you I wanted to come back and revisit the cash app numbers. Now, it's a formula that you put in. To go ahead and get the sum that's over 900 transactions in one year which is very good guys and you can see the total just from cash app is 24,405 all right that's the total just for cash app for this year now the thing about this is that you look at the top you see fees so you see 13,900 that's for two years i believe two or three years different fees that's assessed by um cash app and you can see right here in the fee column you can see how much cash app charged me or whatever so now i just twenty four thousand. of course i have overhead and stuff as i'm going to share more about whenever i calculate everything but 900 transactions over 900 transactions twenty four thousand in the cash app all right and that's not even counting my day job. Uh, guys, this is an example of a contract that I have with this foundation. Go ahead and blur the name out. And you can see the contract is from October the 1st, 2020 through November the 30th, 2021. And the contract is for $65,000. Now, what you're saying, uh, tech in the bathroom, how in the world can you take your day job and attribute it to your channel? Well, one of the things that they asked me to do is to do marketing for them and basically they want me to do the same type of marketing that i do on my youtube channel with them so yes my channel helped me get this amongst other things so you come right here you can see recording edit content and videos so my channel helped me be able to get other things outside of youtube as you guys can see so let's do a rough figure so my online store i made just over what thirty eight thousand or thirty thousand or something like that all right then i want to go ahead and add my google money okay then i want to go ahead and add that that contract um I believe it's like 62 65 000. then i want to go ahead and add uh my paypal okay and then let's go ahead and add the cash app all right 
And so you're looking at $137,000 during a pandemic with a channel of about six, 26,000 subscribers. And because of the algorithm, I actually did the worst in AdSense than I have done in the past, right? Because I stopped doing like a lot of streaming stuff and started focusing on targeting marketing and stuff like that. But $137,000 that came through this channel by the result of me doing what I've been telling you guys. Let's jump back to the studio. That is basically what the channel done this year. You seen how I was able to make money in a virtual space and then taking those virtual skills outside. And that's not everything. That's not including like the eye job, but you market yourself. As you can tell, really as youtubers we really don't get in my case small youtubers we really don't get a lot of adsense revenue all right at the level that we are now the more you grow you can make 30 60 90 hundred thousand dollars a month on youtube with with ad revenue i'm not there but i still leverage this channel and that's the only thing that i'm telling you guys is that if you take the skills that i've been preaching and teaching you can do this too. I have students that's doing even better than I'm doing using the skills. So go ahead and check out the channel, guys. There's tons of videos. Hey, if you want the video of how you can sell hotspot, the, the two methods that we're using since AT&T shut everything down again, the two methods that we're using, the video is a hundred dollars and I show you two methods that I'm using some of my students using and then hopefully by next month I'm going to have my own branded hotspots that's going to be using AT&T towers if all goes well that's another product I'm looking to bring to the market now what I'm looking to do in 2021 besides branding hotspots and stuff like that is I want to get more financially solvent. Now, you see all the money that I made? Like, for example, like 90 some thousand dollars ran through my PayPal, but $88,000 went out. You know, that's me paying bills and stuff like that. And that's also me buying credits from um, vendors for AT&T um, customers and stuff like that, paying the bills and stuff uh, for my different businesses. However, the main goal this year is for me to be, be able to streamline and see where I can save myself money and be able to really, you know, focus what come out of what account. So maybe open up a banking account or open up a QuickBooks or something like that just for the hotspots. One, just for um, YouTube payments and stuff like that, doing videos and stuff like that. And then um, depositing money into my personal banking account to where I'm just paying my house bills out there. And the one where I'm just paying like my, my business bills or whatever. If that makes sense, that way, guys, I can track my money more. And this year, I'm really going to start getting capital. In other words, I give you an example of how people pay me. I buy the credit from the vendor and then I get the profit. I'm not using my own money. But this year, I'm going to leverage what I made this year. Um, go to the bank. Uh, anything on my personal credit, try to fix it. Um because that's what I've been working on all, all year 2020 and be able to show that debt to income ratio because I brought two two cars this year, a truck for me and a car for my wife and show that debt to income ratio. I also had to take out a loan from one of my kids, um, Parent Plus loan for him to go to college. But I made the income. I just got to show it. And then what I'm going to do is probably buy like a trade line like I told you guys in an earlier video this year buy like a trade line and what that is is buying someone else get on someone else's credit so they got like access to fifty thousand dollars they put you on their credit and that way when i go to the bank i can get my own capital sort of like velocity banking where i can just use access to that capital access to that credit so my goal by the end of 2021 is to get a million dollars worth of capital and then i'm going to invest it either into the hot spots or back into the channel and the monthly interest the monthly note should be cheap enough for me to keep building on that credit so by 20 the end of 2021 or, or the beginning of 2022 my goal is to be at two million or five million worth of credit access of credit where i can just tap into to um do any project i want so that's the dream that's what i'm gonna focus on i just got to get my numbers together and when i do i'm gonna show you guys 
the results at the end of 2022. So, boy, taking the bows until next time. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Check out the channel, guys. Make sure you check out the channel. And don't forget my other channel that I started, Cooking with Tech. I'm going to leave the link in the description of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification button so you can be up to date with all of my latest videos.